Dear friends, the main object of Mission RK is to synthesize the knowledge given by the world teachers so that a new era of yogic culture may dawn. When I say culture, when I say culture, one should understand the difference between the two words, culture and civilization. In short, we can say that culture is for those who guide the race and civilization is that which is accepted by the race. So civilization once didn't want education to women. Then the cultured people of the race fought for women's education and now it has become a civilization. So this difference we should always remember when I use the word culture. Culture is the leaders who change the public opinion and it is very difficult to change the public opinion. One of the foremost ambassadors of the masters, messengers from the adepts and gurus is Madame Blavitsky who gave in the garb of theosophy the ancient culture the wisdom of our rishis to the present day materialists and skeptics. That is, the civilization at the time when Madame Blavitsky entered the field and even now it is materialism and skepticism, anti-spiritualism, anti-godhood, anti-devotion, anti-morals, anti-values which are controlling the society, even now. The most important thing in theosophy is its uh, timing. Around 1850, the world and planet Earth and especially humanity were in a great possibility. A great possibility was opening for humanity but it did not know what to do and how to go forward. Then the masters utilized Madame Blavitsky. And remember always what they told about Madame Blavitsky. They said she is not a perfect instrument, but it is the best we can get. So what I want through the channels of Mission RK is to guess the best mediums for the masters. For example, an engineer is a medium of engineering knowledge. Someone may be a very great engineer, means that he is a good tool. Someone may be an average engineer, meaning that he is not so good a tool for the knowledge of engineering. The same for doctors. One may be a very capable doctor, very successful. That means he is a very good tool for the knowledge of medicine, for the knowledge of healing. And one may be a very, very average medical practitioner, just making both ends meet. He is also a medium, but not a perfect medium. So this is the situation for the masters 
around the mid 19th century where they could not get the best mediums but that is not to decry the qualities the courage the talents the psychic powers of madam lavitsky but what i want to convey is if a average medium is so great how great a medium we all can become theosophy in this way is nothing but the ancient hindu religion put into the modern garb again even though it is a repetition let me tell you that hindu religion is not only for hindus let us be scientific about it just as newton's laws are not for newton <clears throat> it is universal laws they were discovered by them by him dalton's laws or einstein's laws are not of a particular nationality they are universal laws discovered by them and when we when we say scientific laws it means they are universal laws discovered by certain people living in a particular country but that particular man who visualized and understood or intuited the laws does not own them it is not his laws it is universal laws similarly the hindus have the credit of discovering the laws of life the laws of mind and therefore when we call it as hindu religion it only means that the religion is universal the faith is universal the laws are universal but it is the hindus who first discovered it and therefore we are forced to say it as a hindu religion that as the laws of motion we are forced to say as newton's laws this concept should not be forgotten whenever you people hear my classes whenever i say the sanatana dharma or the hindu dharma it is with this scientific aspect that i present to you the truths of life now madam blavatsky since her childhood was guided by the masters and whenever i talk about the gurus and tell them or tell some incidents in their life always remember that they are also happening in your life when we read about some scientific experiments that were discovered by madam curie naturally you follow the same experiments in your lab similarly when we talk about the lives of the masters remember they are also happening in your life even though you are not aware of it therefore when i am talking about madam blavatsky she was always protected from her childhood by a indian monk which she always used to see in a turban once when madam blavatsky was riding on a horse she fell down and her legs were entangled in the stirrups and she was certain that she will die but somehow she felt that someone is carrying her holding her so that her head and body is not touching the ground this type of protection we always get but we are not aware of it whenever there is a fall or whenever there is an accident we don't understand the seriousness of the accident had we known the seriousness of the accident we will thank god and our protector